Hi, I'm Sue. Um, this is the third video that I've made about Evernote and unschooling. In my first two videos, um, I was talking about how to use Evernote to keep um, unschooling records for um, homeschool registration purposes. But today I thought that I would um, show you what my children are doing, how they're using Evernote for their own notes. Um, yeah, quite quite often uh, I don't get to record everything my girls are doing, but they all have their own Evernote accounts, uh, which they can use to uh, record anything of interest to them that they would like to remember, collect together um, interesting things that that are important to them. Um, when we downloaded Evernote, we I did what I usually do when I discover something, um, a program or a website. I usually gather my girls around and I say, hey, come and have a look at what I found. And uh, we get together and they're very interested to see uh, what I found and we work our way through it together. And then uh, once we've worked it all out, I usually leave it to them. They can uh, use it or not use it depending on what it is. Of what they um, choose to do so they might uh, for example um, we had a look at the scratch website we all played around with it for a few days um, my older girls weren't that interested so after a few days of fiddling around with it they left that but the younger girls really enjoyed it and they kept going on back to it and working on it I enjoyed it for a little while. I um, made a few animations and then I also moved on to something else. But my younger girls keep going back. And so there's no uh, obligation when I offer something to, to them that they must use it. So I, I down, they all downloaded Evernote to their computers or they signed up. They've got the free version. I've actually got the premium version. And then I just left it to them to decide what they could do with it. But while we were actually working out how to use Evernote, we brainstormed a few ideas about how that it could be used. Um, on screen now, I just got the same, same uh, notebooks that I was talking about the other day, my registration notebooks. But we, these are our, um, uh, I, these are the things that we brainstormed together. We decided that we could possibly have a Shakespeare notebook, include DVD covers, video clips, quotes, photos, a one to do with composers or artists or maths, all the links and videos and books that we the girls found that they might want to put into a maths um, notebook, a games one, uh, DVDs of any description, recipes they found, books they've read or want to read, poetry. There's all, uh, uh, some great po um, poetry websites and you can clip the poems and make a notebook just on poetry. Also, there are a lot of YouTube videos with people reciting the poems. It's actually um, Wadsworth Longfellow reciting his own poems and they're really he really does bring them to life. And so we they could collect um, links to those YouTube videos. So these were just some ideas that we brainstormed together. I didn't expect them to go away and actually uh, set up all these notebooks. I just left it to them. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I think a lot of these things look good for parents. They look good for records, but sometimes children aren't interested in actually keeping the notebooks. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, first of all, I'll show you what, I, what you could do. So like this Shakespeare one, for example. Now if I go onto the internet, you know, could, this is Romeo and Juliet um, images from the movies, the book, uh, the DVD covers. There's probably uh, book covers here too. They could all be copied and pasted into a Shakespeare notebook. Uh, there was what else did I find? Oh, quotations. I could clip quotations from Romeo and Juliet into the same notebook. I think it for, actually would have to set up a new notebook. These are just brainstormed ideas. But what I do, I think, is uh, start up a new notebook, um, add a new notebook and call it Shakespeare. And down there, and then I could have a separate note for each of the things. So I could have a new note and I could uh, go back and I could clip those quotes. Now I have no idea really what are in my children's uh, Evernote notebooks but they've all given me their passwords and their email addresses 
and they have given me permission to have a look inside them and show you exactly what is in them. I don't think that I'll find um, all the brainstormed ideas that we uh, talked about, but I'm sure that they're using them in their own ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into their notebooks and then uh, show you. Um, I've logged into Imogen's uh, Evernote account. Now, Imogen's 19, so she's not a registered homeschooler, even though she still considers herself an unschooler. Um, she is actually at a uh, university student. She's uh, studying uh, professional writing and publishing. So her interests are writing. And if I look into her Evernote book, I can see that because uh, she, all her notebooks are to do with writing. She's got this is one's called Fairy Tale and Superhero Series. And I think that this is actually her NaNoWriMo, uh, Camp NaNoWriMo novel that she's been writing, um, or maybe notes on it. Um, no, it's actually her novel. And there's uh, down below is um, character notes and things like that. She's also got blog, blog posts in here that she wants to keep uh, that not only hers but other people's that she wants to keep and read again. Um, some blog posts of her own. So yeah, Imogen's uh, note, using her Evernote notebook as a writing notebook. I'm now in Sophie's Evernote notebook and she's almost 13 and if I look at it there she started off with those ideas that we talked about she did start a Shakespeare notebook and look she's got a note there and she's got a note on trips going to the park and a couple of videos and then her interest in that uh, dissolved oh she look she's got a rainbow loom one that was that's a new notebook she's uh, actually collecting all her uh, favorite rainbow loom videos that she's uh, been watching and she's been posting photographs of her own uh, her own bracelets so that one seems to be going strong but what she really is using her notebook for again is a writing notebook uh, so her novel here it is so this is her uh, NaNoWriMo novel and that's what she's been doing exactly the same as Imogen which I think that um, there's a lot of uh, of the younger girls following the example of the older ones and they follow my example um, it's it, it has turned out that uh, we've all got very similar interests um, we all sit down and write together we all blog together uh, Art. We do like art. I'm not a very good drawer, but a couple that Charlotte drew this picture. She is more into art. She she writes, but she's the artist of the family. She's been drawing um, the characters out of her sister's novels. So yeah, once again, um, Sophie has chosen to use her notebook as a writing one, even though she did try those suggestions that we brainstormed. She decided she wouldn't go with that, and I think that's quite all right. We have some ideas, but. She doesn't have to follow them through, just try them out and decide for herself what she would like to do. I'm now in Gemma Rose's Evernote notebooks and she's uh, 10 and again she tried a Shakespeare one. I can see a couple of notes down there for Shakespeare and she's uh, got a, a notebook for her novel ideas. And she's also using it um, to write notes about her characters of her novel. So these are all the characters in her um, NaNoWriMo novel. She's wrote, written a novel with with all the characters are cats, and she's written she's got a picture that she's uh, added and a description of each of the characters. So again, basically, I think she's using hers as a writing notebook. I'm back at my own notebooks now, and um, Charlotte. Um, is my 16 year old daughter. I haven't shown you her notebooks. Uh, she didn't give me the details, but I do know that she's using hers to keep her own homeschooling records. I think she's old enough to, well, she has been for the past few years, keeping her own records, just like I'm doing here. Uh, because it's so much easier. She knows what she's doing. She, I, I hardly ever um, get, in, well, get involved. I offer her suggestions, but she's got her own ideas about what she wants to do. And it's much easier for her to get on with what she's doing and record it as she goes rather than me keep saying all the day what have you done what have you done um, I need to write it in my records book so she's keeping her own records book so that's basically uh, what we're doing with our Evernotes um, there's a lot of possibilities with them I'm just uh, whether our parents' ideas about how children uh, should use them and their own ideas, they don't always match up. 
<laughs> that no, that's okay. I, I'm quite happy with that. So um, I'm sure there's lots of other ideas that note that we can use Evernote for. And as I'm making these videos, other ideas keep coming to me. That's why I keep making more videos, and it's really quite an exciting program. I'd be really interested to hear if anybody else has uh, got any additional ideas too. Um, I'd just like to thank you for watching this one. I hope everyone's not ever noted out too many videos too many posts all about Evernote at once but I thought I'd do them while we're all interested in Evernote before I get back to some ordinary posts so I just would like to thank you for watching today